Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, <coughs> a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the label. We read everything on the label. We take a look at the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Well, first of all, <coughs> all beer should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The folks at Thermoworks, a you know, thermometer that I use to test all of our beers, there is a link in the description box below. Also, most folks, <coughs> we always do a tasting in all of the same type of glassware, same style. Why? Nobody has a leg up as far as clarity or aromatics. And finally, most people when they do a tasting, they will take a look, they will sniff, they will sip, and they will pontificate. Well, I'll pontificate, all right, but I will sip first. Why? Wine expert Fred Dax will explain it all to you. He does a lot better than I do. All right, what do we got today? This one, this one jumped right off of the shelf. I tell you, I took a look at this one, especially the old kind of weird label on there. And this is a drippy popsicle for $7.99 at the beer barrel. It's got some kind of a weird animal <coughs> looking on a popsicle. 5.5% alcohol by volume, 16 fluid ounces, one pint. 5.5% alcohol by volume, they do it again. A drippy popsicle, a fruit smoothie sour ale with strawberry, vanilla, beans, and marshmallow. It says, make your own drippy popsicle at home. Stick can in freezer. Wait an hour, open, pour, and serve. I don't think so. <clears throat> For more information, visit us at www.abominationbrewing.com. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Brewed and packaged by Abomination Brewing Company, New ha North Haven, Connecticut. Distributed by 12% label by uh, art by Sam Heimer and the government a warning that I should not be a pregnant woman operating machinery. A fruited smoothie sour with strawberry, vanilla, and marshmallow. I just did a, uh, just had a tasting of a, of a beer with marshmallow in it, and they managed to have some, so eh, maybe that's something they're doing. All right, well, it kind of looks like it's got the popsicle on there. Remember the uh, old uh, Good Humor where they had the... <coughs> The orange and the creamy, the orange creamy one. I did. So maybe that, that's what they're trying to do. Well, if this tastes like a popsicle, I'll be a happy man. And that's what it is. Okay, let's crack it open and see if it tastes like a popsicle. Well, it certainly uh, looks like a popsicle. Oh, it's one of those, I should have, yeah, done that one, but I can't do that. I don't like floaters in my beer. I'm sorry. Well, it, it's an interesting looking beer, that's for sure. And it's, being as it's an ale, it should be close to 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It is 51 degrees, so it is right on as far as the temperature goes. Well, it looks weird. Let's see if it tastes weird. Cheers. Yeah, I took two sips, had to. It's only like about 11 o'clock on a Friday. And most of the time I do tastings at two in the afternoon. So my taste buds, they're still having a siesta. They need to be woke. Well, they just got woke, believe me. Let's see what their olfactory friends have to say. Wow, I'm getting a real berry off of that one, boy. That's for sure, stone berries. Uh, I'm getting cherry and all kinds of good stuff. I don't know. Is it supposed to be cherry in here? Strawberry, vanilla, and marshmallow. Okay, well, I'm getting the berry, that's for sure. Let's see what the taste buds can connect. Yeah, that's a strawberry beer for sure. The vanilla is right there. And there's a creaminess, there's a full body to the beer. 
but there's an additional creaminess from that marshmallow. So this is really a, this is a candy beer. There's no doubt about that. As far as being a popsicle, I guess I'd have to put it in the freezer, but I didn't do that. <clears throat> However, it is a very fruity beer, it is a treat beer, and if somebody doesn't like beer, give them this and they will love you forever. So, does Drippy Popsicle meet expectations? Well, it certainly does. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great, share us with your friends, and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.